Indiana Jones, Indiana It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute. This is the podcast where we suddenly realize that we've let our guard down and everything gets awkward. I'm the Admiral of Awkward, <laughs> Pete Mummert. I'm Tom Taylor. Don't look at me. <laughs> um, I'm Gerald Christopher St. <laughs> Barsanufius, <laughs> who was the... Uh, well, make you laugh, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nothing awkward about uh, Barsanufius. No. <laughs> um, he was famous for living without food or water uh, for 50 years. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He died after those, a week, uh, but he, he kept on going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He would have enjoyed so, uh, Mayapur Village. Yeah, he, well, he, yeah, he, he, that, that, that maybe he's the shaman. Who yeah. Knows? Um, apparently, you know, it's weird. It says he wrote many letters, 800 of which have survived. Wow. wow. So, yeah, you got a Friday night, you know, maybe, you, if, you know, if you, if you got nobody to spend it with, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, like last minute, you maybe, maybe you didn't tell somebody you loved him or something, you know, and, uh, you know, why don't you look up St. Barfanusi's Barfanusi's 800 letters? Yeah. How many of those are dear TV guide? <laughs> <laughs> you know it's interesting i i like that we we have them right after last minute you know maybe maybe uh maybe he didn't it, it you know it wasn't involuntary seclusion you know wait what maybe just he, he didn't care enough that's why he lived alone <laughs> yeah. he didn't he, he didn't stop and take the five minutes okay porter I got it. <laughs> and today we're joined once again by yet another arrow in the proud quiver of darien connecticut mark heideman <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome back, Mark. Thanks for having me. Yeah, pretty soon we'll have the entire uh, graduating class of, uh, what, like 99 through 85 or 95 or something from D Darien High School. You don't really want to go there, but... No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I Somebody's don't. listening right now and feeling really yeah. left out. I don't mean you yeah. and you and you and you, <laughs> yeah, but that guy. Forget. Exactly. What did exactly. I went to Darien High School? <laughs> What do they mean? No one's called me. <laughs> All right. Well, today we're talking about minute 99. Minute 99 begins with Henry sensing somebody's presence beside him, and it ends with Donovan and Elsa looking out over the canyon of the deleted scene. <laughs> oh, oh, you're kidding. Interesting. That makes a ton of no sense. No way. <laughs> God, and then now Pete's going to say, yeah, I was the one who decided to cut that. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, I said, yeah. you don't need this. <laughs> Well, you know what? What Indy looks over and he kind of does like a, you know, like a, a dog shake. You know, he kind of. <laughs> what, <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What's he thinking right there? It can't be him, right? It's like it, you know, there's this moment where he, he's he does the look. He's like, okay, there's there's Indy. He looks back out and he's like going, wait, 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 no. And he has to look back. I just wish he had some water in his mouth so he could do a Danny Thomas spit take in that moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's he, really all we needed. Does, does, he, does he know that the other three guys there think he's dead? Like, is, 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 is he kind of playing this up for effect himself? Or is he? Uh, <laughs> no, I think he really got his bell rung, and he's just yeah, he's concussed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, he's, he's just happy to be gotcha. standing. So yeah. that that makes two two of the people in this crew concussed. Yes, <laughs> yeah. at least. Okay, all right, okay. Least, all, right. Yeah. all right. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. I gotta ask this. This might make not not uh might not make any sense, but Heideman and Jerry, you've both known me and my dad for a long time. <laughs> Does Indy look at all like my dad in this scene? As he's yeah. kind of just like kind of scruffy and befuddled and looking down. Yeah. What the? Who put yeah. the keys in this drawer? Well, What's going on? Yeah. My world is turned upside down. And his whole nodding his head as though he's coming to grips yeah. with something. <laughs> very no, it's true. very it's much true. your dad. Oh. He's, he's sitting there. He's like, oh, it's January 3rd, and I, I finally got the taxes done. Yeah, took me three days, but just under the wire. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> totally. I could see that. All right. 
I feel vindicated. <laughs> Thank you both. You know, I, I love the tatteredness and the holes on Indy's suit coat. Because mm-hmm. he, he was riding that tank tread, you know? Yeah, oh, Henry's, like on the, Henry's got him. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, on Henry's. Yeah, 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 he, yeah. he goes and he, he hugs Indy, and his jacket is just all beaten, forlorn. And yeah, that's yeah. Like, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm surprised it's still there at all. He's on that thing for a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In- Indy let him roast a little bit. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of Come let on. him roast a little bit, I, I feel like this is a very short Spielberg fake out. Because right when, when Henry first looks at Indy, it looks like he's about to smack him for making him worry. And then all of a sudden he like breaks into <laughs> oh, that, wow. you know, that grin. It's like for a second, it, it looks almost like he's going to react in a completely different way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I just watched it. You're right. <laughs> this sort of rides the rails like really closely between like being kind of like a goofy double take. Uh-huh. But, but, but it doesn't quite, it's not that. It's not like played for laughs. It's sort of like. No, no. It's not like he like knocks him in the hey, can you believe what happened in Indy? Yeah. No, this feels like a real thing. Like you're kind of in a state yeah. of shock and you it takes a minute right. for something like that to register. Yeah. And then Indy, you know, like he says, I thought I lost you, boy. And then is you know, Henry hugs Indy. And the script is interesting. It says, after a moment, Indy's head clears and he becomes aware of his father's embrace, something he hasn't felt in a long time, if ever. Hmm. And it touches him. Well, mm. I mean, you know, his his face, uh, Indy's face, when it, when he's enjoying the hug, you know, he does look like an infant passing gas. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, he does. But, but, yeah. but he's clearly going, oh, I I love this. My dad is hugging me. You know, so it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's, that part's definitely there. But he does kind of revert to childhood because he does the the thing where he rests his chin on his dad's shoulder. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. Not well, and he, and he calls protocol. him sir. Yeah. yeah. He says, yeah. I thought you had two, sir. Yeah. It's nice, though, because this is what he's wanted his entire life. And he's mm-hmm. finally kind of safe and secure in his dad's loving embrace. Like, this is what he's always longed for. And so I, I like that he immediately just turns into a little kid. And he's like, oh, this is what I've always wanted. Yeah. Well, yeah, and yeah. all he had to do was die for it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just so he could get about 11 seconds. That's yeah, exa- exactly. Exactly. I don't know. I, I watching Indy's face. I don't know what you would call that. It's like his 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 cheeks and his lips kind of puff up in a like sort of this honey bear yeah. type thing. I don't even. Know. I've never yeah. seen that expression on an Indiana Jones before. It doesn't look like, like Harrison I, Ford even. No, yeah. it's yeah. it's brilliantly acted. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And that cut to Sala, I think, sells the whole thing for me. Because yeah. all the people there, like he's the one, like he's the one who's, you know, life goes on, and like he doesn't, you know, he doesn't care about anything <laughs> right. about it yeah. except for everything being awesome all the time. Yeah, right. And uh, he's the one who could like unabashedly appreciate this. I mean, yeah. like in a second, like Henry's gonna be like, eh, whatever, okay, cool, you know, you know, punching him on the shoulder or something. Like, eh, nothing just happened. We're we're cool. But like Salah's like, oh, this is a beautiful thing. This is what life is all about, and you know, mm-hmm. this is fantastic. Father mm-hmm. and son. And then you get Marcus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How's that? Well, I mean, you know, Mark, it, it doesn't make sense how Indy survived. So I, a little bit I can see Marcus, but right. in, a, in another sense, yeah, this is just. Well, let's see. <laughs> bananas, I, I'd Marcus. like to go, not, you know, I'm, what, what do you think here, uh, uh, Mark? Mm-hmm. Marcus? Mark? Marcus? What do you, yeah. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think here? I think he is still concussed. I'm just holding on to this hope that, you know, he's just yeah. out to lunch this whole second yeah. half of his movie. Yeah, yeah. But, dehydrated okay. too. By but, now? But, but, oh yeah, yeah, right. G- good point. No, I mean, I, I, I'm guessing he's, uh, you know, he, he's there for the comedy relief, obviously. But, yeah. but there's also, he gives it a little something. It's like he, it's almost like Elliot knows this is horrible, but I'm gonna give it a little something because if I, because if I don't believe it, then no one's gonna buy me at all. So, so, so he, yeah. he right. gives you a little something that makes you think he's really. Really trying hard to process it, rather than <laughs> going for a dad. I, I think he just needs a, he just needs a change of depends. <laughs> this is like he's looking for a seven o'clock applesauce. He's, he's ready for Matlock to start. It's just it's just like I mean I understand what's going on with the old hand signal, but you went over to that, and then but now he you're just, yeah. But yeah. It's just like well, what do, what are we doing? Couldn't we just get like a nice, sincere cut to Marcus in this moment? Like, I, exactly. Oh, yes. My old exactly. friend Henry. 
Exactly. Yeah. Help, Andy. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I, I want to do together. exactly what Marcus is doing in, with his hands. Just, I want to do that to Lucas and Spielberg. <laughs> 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 and just, but do, but, but you're making an Indiana but, Jones movie. Yeah, but Lord, I'm Marcus Brody, but I'm yeah. not a clown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm not a horrible, uh, horrible Wilhelm of a person. If I think that's uh, nobody, nobody has said that, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, we're thinking it. No, 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 that's, no, that's totally. <laughs> no, I mean nobody it's, has it's, said that he's not a horrible Wilhelm of a person. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Uh, movie history is full of scenes just like this where two people either two men or a man and a woman anybody like just two people who haven't been emotional with each other they have this burst of emotion where they embrace or something and then they immediately like back it away and stuff like oh well uh, oh, so, uh, you know this kind of thing like like what henry does here mm-hmm. but the <laughs> literally the only example i can think of is uh Kirk and McCoy in Star Trek the Motion Picture <laughs> when McCoy has a beard and yeah. like you know, it's not even like an embrace it's just like a firm manly yeah. handshake right. like damn it bones I need you and he's like yeah oh, I'm going to go to sick bay it probably suck and will probably mess it up anyway all right yeah see you Jim that is such a real reaction though it's the, it's like he 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 gets completely lost in his emotion here and then yeah. it, it, a couple minutes later, it kind of comes back to him, like who he is and what's happening. And it gets super yeah. awkward. And he's just like, oh, uh, hey, uh, I need to dial this back. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we, hey, we see this. great job. Great. Well done. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Because he doesn't want of... he doesn't want that to continue. He doesn't want to have a completely, you know, like, I love you, dad. Oh, I love you, too, son. He doesn't want that kind of relationship. And he wants to make sure right. that that's right. not that, that, that that's oh, I have a clear. horrible question, though, then. Mm-hmm. Is he ever going to take the five minutes to tell Indy anything? Oh, not I think now. he just did. He just yeah. did. No, did he? That's did all he, he needed. I think that's all he, he needed. No, Maybe. I see. Uh, I, I mean, I understand for the sake of the movie and for the sake of this and little honey bear hugs. Then yes, <laughs> that's what's needed here. And that's fine. But no, I don't think he's going to take the five minutes be- because. Uh, I, I mean, you see this warm, affectionate moment just give way to distance and uncomfortableness. Like you can yeah. see it, right? Well, it's yeah. almost like he's relieved. Oh, good, I don't have to go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. He's still alive. Nerd. I still have yeah. five yeah. minutes. I still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's been checking his watch the whole movie. Yeah. Like, huh? yeah. <laughs> and and by, by the way, I'm I'm not saying that that's uh, out of character. No, right. but I think right. that yeah. not only is it yeah. not out of character, but it makes it a real scene. It's not a movie, you know, manipulative scene. This is kind of how someone would really react. Yeah. Like, right. and he, he now he doesn't have to tell him those things that he was going to say. I mean, he kind of yeah. did it through the embrace and whatever, and Indy felt the same way, and they had their moment, and he's like, okay, good, that's out of the way. I don't ever have to do this again. <laughs> there was that show, um, <laughs> Rescue Me, with Dennis Leary. Right. I only watched, like, the first season, but there was this, like, his dad, I think, oh, it was Charles Durning. His dad was played by Charles Durning, and they had this kind of relationship, just, like, kind of, like, two dudes who are never going to, like, say I love you or anything. <laughs> and there was a scene where they're talking on the phone, and he's like, oh, the dad's like, oh, yeah, well, we turned in that old TV, we got a new TV, and the subtitles say, I love you, son. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like this. It's like, hey, we're going to go look for the grail. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought I lost you. I love you, son. <laughs> And then, like, Indy collapses like a, all of his bones have just been pulverized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for he, his knees, because you can see the knee pads through his pants. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm going to look. Wow. <laughs> wow. You he didn't just, know he... that Indy's a big gardener. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I like uh, Sala's kind of happy prancing walk when he's walking away. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I cannot well, stand his deferential hat tip to Henry. I, you know what? I well, didn't. I wondered if anybody else was going to catch that. My note is: what weird and quirky thing happens right as Indy's hat blows back to him? And and you're talking that's about the Sala? it. Yeah, Sala. I didn't. So what's that? What is that all about, Pete? Why does he do that? I think it's a, again. I think it's kind of a colonial thing. I mean, it, but, but, part but of it's a respect he, thing. But he's like. But what is he doing? Why on earth would he salute or greet or, you know, I mean, hat chuck Henry right here? Well, I mean, I guess it's, hey, congrats. You got your son back. Right. But is I that guess, what it yeah. is? Yeah, hey, I think congrats. so. Hey, congrats. Your son's alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, is that what it is? 
I'm assuming. No, I want feels... this to be totally on the up. I think this Maybe is, it is. Sala Maybe it is, is full of life. Sala loves everybody. He's going to tip yeah. his hat to a lamppost if he needs to. He just loves everybody. He's, he's feeling good and he's alive. I agree. I, I, I like that reading, but I'm just, I just I'm so shell shocked. You're you know, nervous by all of this kind of <laughs> solid yeah. weirdness that I, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> like it feels it feels like a deferential kind of thing here. It, I, but, is it the sort of thing like you go ahead and get on the horse first? Oh, no, is maybe. that what I, mm. I'm just watching it? Like there's no reason for that. Like was there some part of uh, audio we couldn't hear or a line or something? Well, Wouldn't it be nice if Henry tipped his hat at the same time? Yeah. That would have been nice. Yeah. Like, hey, you got your buddy back. Would it kill you, Henry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Although I love Henry's glee here. Like, he has his son back. Yeah. He's about sure. to go off of, you know, he's gotten 45 years of love off of his chest. <laughs> and now he's about to go look for <laughs> the grail. Never has to deal with it again. Like, his, yeah. his, his, what he's wanted his entire life. <laughs> and he had a fling with a 21-year-old. I, this might yeah. be the single happiest moment of his entire life. Like right yeah, now, this is this is the high life. point. Yeah, <laughs> this is when he if, when he looks back on his deathbed. This is the moment he's going to remember. Like this was it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know when 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 they all get up and they dump him and they leave, do uh -huh. you notice that? Yeah, you, know, you could almost say okay, they didn't realize because they're they're so excited. They're just turning around and he kind of falls behind them. But there's Marcus, and he can totally see. Mm. And he fall to the ground, and he just <laughs> obliviously walks by him, and has no idea or doesn't care. I mean, it's just I don't. Oh, it's maddening. Yeah. Maybe he's still yeah. steaming from that uh, that elbow to the face. Well, oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. but, and then as they're walking, they're all walking away, and Henry turns around and says, "You know, come on." They're totally in a whole other. It's like they're extras or from a different movie. They're just walking <laughs> off. <laughs> they're not involved. They don't even turn yeah. around like, yeah, come on with us. No, nothing. God, you know what it's like exactly? It's exactly like Sean Connery at the end of uh, Time Bandits. The kid's parents explode. He's like, oh, come on. See ya. I'm a fireman. Right. Bye. Uh, wow. That's hilarious. Everything's cool. <laughs> so, uh, so Indy's hat floats to him. So, okay. Am I going to be big on this or no? Oh, you want don't, to don't, don't, yeah. don't, yeah. yeah. I, I, okay. I, I have notes okay, okay, saying okay. how both of you are going to react and how I react. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jerry wants to know why they didn't explain the logistics of the hat rolling up to Indy. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know why, where he wants to know where Fedora bought the hat, how much he paid, and what type of box it came in. <laughs> <laughs> Tom will decry the whimsy and unexplained magic. I can only believe in fun if it makes perfect logical sense. I hate this so-called fun. This is as bad as the stamp guy. It's not as bad as the stamp. But I do have in my notes how many movies until the hat just starts talking to Indy. <laughs> Are we going on another adventure, Indy? Saddle up. Well, but here's, 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 here, well here's my take on it. And I, I love the hat thing here. And because to me, this is straight out of a Sergio Leone film. Like, oh, sure. This might have mm -hmm. even been in a Sergio Leone film. And it's, all, <laughs> it's also kind of like Indy's horse is just ridden up. Like, this is right. kind of like the perfect, you know, John Ford, whatever, Western, Sergio Leone Western moment. And I think it's great. Yeah, I, I, I'm totally on board with it. I, I have no problem with it. it it's, it's kind of. It, it, it's weird because it almost goes in sync with him when, when Henry says, you know, uh, we're almost over. It's kind of like that this nod to the audience in those two moments where it's like saying, come on, we're coming into the home stretch of the movie. And yeah, don't worry. He gets his hat back. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, it's uh, <laughs> and, and I don't I kind of don't mind that. It's almost like a wink to the audience to me. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But so, like, so where do we where do we draw the line here, Mark, on uh, the you know, like something that works like that, which I agree is like a, a fun wink to the audience mm -hmm. and um, and and the McDonald's Playland whimsy that, <laughs> you know, interrupts an otherwise great movie. <laughs> wait, exactly. wait, 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 wait. Before yeah. you answer this, Mark. So yes. you don't mind this scene, Jerry? No, this 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 scene is the hat's uh, OK with you. The, uh, listen. Okay. It's not that, that the hat's you, okay. okay. It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> so, but you know, I'm as much of an I love you, you're going to get. <laughs> yeah. You're scaring me for five minutes. Now it's awkward. Mark, maybe you should answer the question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm giving you a honey bear hug there, Pete. <laughs> I don't, it, no, I, I mean, this, I, I, I'm so beleaguered and browbeaten that this is, 
This is just the tone of this movie. <laughs> and what, what are we at? Yeah. We're at minute 99. And none of this, uh, you know, fanciful whimsy has abated. So I'm just yeah. like, oh, okay. I mean, that's just where the movie is. And I, I, this doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I get, yeah, I, no. it's, it's a no. wink, as you said, uh, you know, if this one's fine. I, it's not, you know, it's, it, it's this one's fine. It's it's it's, 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 it's fun it's part. Well, it's fine. And it's, it's, it's like, like we all got Indy back too, you know. In this <laughs> yeah, moment. yeah, you yeah. Know, it's like yeah, all right, he, he lives. I do it's, want to point out though that in Raiders of the Lost Ark, he went about the last 20, 25 minutes of the movie without his hat. That's true. And everything wow. was fine. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's a good but point. But the tagline and, wouldn't have worked if he'd lost yeah. his hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that's right. Indiana Jones yeah. must have a hat. He got a new hat and he's back. <laughs> the man that sometimes has a hat is back. <laughs> the man who talks to his hat is back. Yeah. Come on, Indy. So yeah, we cut to uh, Donathan peering through binoculars. Oh yeah, uh, looking at the canyon of the crescent room, the uh, the canyon of the crescent moon, and there's a deleted scene that happens right here. Um, so the great. Can I ask temple... a question before you say what it is? Yeah. Does it have anything to do with all the guys standing behind them? It does. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. Because so, it doesn't make so sense it. just watching it because, like, yeah. you know, Donovan and Elsa are looking in one direction and all those guys are staring the opposite direction. But if yeah. you look, there's uh, they're looking at an explosion in that very narrow canyon. And originally they filmed a scene where the Grail Temple is hidden in a very, very narrow canyon. It's basically a chasm. And the Nazis blow up the entrance to the canyon to make it wide enough to enter. And really? uh, oh, weird. Indy hmm. and, and everybody sees the smoke on the horizon, and that's why they're able to show up so quickly. Oh, wow. Okay. But hmm. yeah, but th- the thing I wonder is if they ADR'd the dialogue in, because it doesn't make any sense that they're looking the opposite direction of the explosion. Like, <laughs> I, think, I think he's saying something about Jones is coming because Elsa right. grabs the binoculars from him, not in a, oh, I want to see the canyon. It's more like, what? Let me see. They're not alive. Like, it's... It feels like maybe he's just mentioned that, hey, someone's coming after us. Mm. Yeah. Right, right. You know, but what. That's super weird. Yeah. I wonder why would they chose to cut it. I think it was just time constraints. Like, I think the movie was always already the longest indie movie, and I think they were just trying to cut some stuff. You know what, I think you already get the sense that, like, I mean, it's baloney because of that silly map, but you get the sense that Indy and everybody knows enough to get to the Crescent Moon now. Uh huh. So like yeah, and I, I was never like wait how did I get to the crescent moon? Right. And I think that was why they put it in was so people would know oh that's how he got there that's how they found mm. it. Yeah, yeah. And even though it's a short shot, it's a cool looking Spielbergian shot. You know, mm-hmm. with, with, with yeah. the car and the absolutely yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's so. It, you know that that's the first time that shot through but the binoculars. Uh, just when I was watching this for this, that was the first time I had any clue what they're talking about the canyon of the crescent moon. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, yeah. it's a. I get it. It's a crescent. <laughs> yeah. I want to crescent cookies. Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying that. I picture you like tomorrow at breakfast, looking at your croissant. Oh, I get <laughs> it. It's a crescent. This means something. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, speaking of meaning something, any, anybody have anything else for minute ninety nine? I think you guys were geniuses and covered the whole thing. See, other day. with your help. <laughs> Why, well, I'm sure there can't be. Wait a minute. Oh. Holy cow. Yes. Wow. Speaking of croissants. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> coming in over the wire, this just in from Professor Christy Porter. <laughs> hey, did we do did we do a boop 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 boop, boop yesterday? The actual yeah, effect? Yeah. yeah. The sound yeah, effect? Yeah. 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 I, I don't think I vocalized it. Oh, All right. we, we, we enough did. of us did. That, yeah. uh, okay, good, covered. good, good. It came I guess through. Tom's back to having another best friend. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, some of us made the boop to the boop. <laughs> if you know what oh. I mean. Oh, this one's this one's a whole yeah a whole uh, cornucopia oh, thing. Hey, she's, oh, she's, getting, she's getting pretty mean with these. Like, it, yeah. what is the most embarrassing <laughs> moment you ever had <laughs> yeah. thinking about an Indian? What's agent? your social security yeah. number? <laughs> <laughs> Pete, grow a beard. Um, oh well okay uh well here's an aside why is marcus demented again sure that's that's to be expected (laughs) um why doesn't henry tell indy anything 
He's too emotionally inaccessible and defended. It's and it's always coming off his son. Hmm. Mm. Would it have been so bad if he had said, "I love you"? It would have been. Um, it would have been out of character for him. Yeah. And he has yeah. to say son, yeah. or the end of the movie doesn't hit as hard as it does. Hmm. He says it with his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he's a guy. He can't no, stop. Yeah, so. sure. Yeah. Well, so, I Two mean, what's men interesting hugging, is... isn't that enough? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's interesting that we see uh, <laughs> up until the end, I feel like, or up until minute 99, you know, Henry is, is flawed. In, in that regards, he really, <laughs> really, really struggles here. No, I know, I yeah, know. Well, yeah. He had a big thing, and I thought I lost you, boy, and it was great, and it was well done and everything. But, you know, he does, he <laughs> does have that. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, he does. The, but they nice does eyes, that nice thing, eyes. like, wait a minute, I'm too close to my son. This is awful. Let me straighten mm-hmm. out my cheekbones yeah. and, mm-hmm. you yeah, know, yeah. give him the old Sala Marcus Brody, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shoulder punch, and then let's yeah. get the hell out of here. This is too weird. I love that from a, a movie making perspective. I mean, I don't yeah. like it from a human perspective, sure. but from a movie making perspective, I think it's perfect because it feels yeah. I'd rather have real and this. Human. And I thought I lost you, boy. To yeah. I love you, Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would happen if? How would we have felt if Henry had given Indy his hat back? Oh, that might have been nice. Oh, actually. wow. Mm. Yeah. And then made that heart symbol with his hands. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. I don't like this. <laughs> I can't unsee that in my mind. I know. <laughs> no, <really. laughs> don't nobody make a T-shirt of that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of heart symbols with our hands, Mark, we've really loved having you on the show. Last well, days. thank you guys for having me. It was really, really cool. Yeah. I listen to you guys all the time. I'm a big fan. So. Oh, awesome. So, so, so thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. And, and we should point out, in all seriousness, oh. you were you were you were Marcus for many years because of Raiders. I, like Jerry took the confirmation, wow. but you were just yes. Marcus. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I and I've I've never even held that against Jerry. Even <laughs> I, I just wanted to be closer outwardly. To I never took it against him. <laughs> I'm starting to realize that Tom kind of has a type. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Don't make me choose. <laughs> Must have a name that he changes to Marcus. <laughs> well, uh, Marcus, would you like to tell people one more time uh, about where they might be able to talk to you about? Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm at historicfilms.com. You can check out all kinds of crazy, cool vintage footage, including Dick Dale. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, and I'll license it to you too. When you make that awesome Dick Dale biog- uh, biography film, I'm your man. So, <laughs> oh, nice! Awesome. That's it. And uh, listeners, if you like Dick Dale, check Dick Dale's website. <laughs> oh, Jerry Porter may be playing a show near you sometime soon. <laughs> <laughs> and Webby. join us all back here tomorrow for minute 100 of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade here on the Indiana Jones Minute. I love you guys. I love you guys too. (laughs) (laughs) Make that noise. Let's all go to sick bay. (laughs) See that puffy cheek hug noise face. (laughs) 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 (laugh